Nazim to get it get people in the tent George <laughs> that's right <laughs> they're here too you're going to see a computer controlled waterfall there which will double as the projection screen for the images which appear before you in Madison Square Garden December 19 it took Naz more than seven minutes to make it from behind the screen to the ring
just as he did with Kevin Kelly. The Prince goes out of his way. Final word from trainer Alex Matos to Wilfredo Vasquez. And round one begins without a bell. Naz in the southpaw stance. He'll pirouette in the air. Switch feet from side to side. Throw wild punches at varying angles. Vasquez is a boxer who wants to stay within his envelope here and do what Kevin Kelly didn't do in New York, box the Prince. And that's right, as, as Vasquez can just stay within the orthodox left foot first. Don't let anything make you put your right foot out in front of you. Conservatively make this a boxing match he can win. On the other hand, the Prince just keep jumping around and doing foolishness, and he can win easily. Nassim acknowledged to us that his balance in some portions of the Kelly fight was atrocious. He says that he's worked in the gym to make it better. But with his style, it's simply impossible to be properly balanced all the time. That's right. That's the last thing he wanted in his career, some balance. <laughs> Prince should just take his time, throw light punches, develop some target and some accuracy before you start trying to land the big shots. They'll come as the fight go on. Not much contact in the first minute of the fight. As Vasquez stares at the puzzle of the Prince and tries to figure out where the angles are. lands for Nassim. Nassim keeps his right foot way behind so he's able to pick it up at any time and be at least four feet out of the way of a punch. Wide stance for Nassim. Exceptionally powerful legs for a featherweight. Some say that's where the extraordinary punching power comes from. Vasquez has said he should go to the body and he would go to the body. He's waiting around now for head shots. Just not going to happen in the first and second round. Right hand by Vasquez. Momentarily drives Ahmed back into the ropes. The Prince moves to his left and gets away. Asim throws Vasquez to the canvas. That was a throw, but there was something on the previous contact also to help it go down like that. The previous exchange, you see, big things are happening and you only see them when little things happen afterwards. Bell rings to end round one as we go to the corners. We'll point out to you this will be slightly different than the normal HBO boxing telecast to which you become accustomed. We don't have corner audio here because we're taking a British feed from Sky Television. It's not allowed by the British Board of Boxing Control. We also don't have our own handheld cameras, so we may not get the kinds of shots throughout the period between rounds that you're most used to seeing here on HBO. <laughs> There was a play called No Sex, We're British. This is No Microphones, We're British. Here is the throwdown. You see the after that shot. Yeah, after that awkward uh, collision. But as George has pointed out, there was a shot just before that. Vasquez able to throw only.